G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Let's talk about preferred learned behaviour in bees. You're looking at a hive at only about 6 o'clock in the morning, it's my sapiens hive. You'll see a pile of pollen there from a tetragonular Hocking's eye hive that I'm feeding this hive. It's only 16 degrees and you're seeing bees coming out and feeding off that pollen. And that is so unusual because in the past I could not firstly get these bees to feed externally and let alone feed on another species of pollen. The second thing is, I could not sit here and film them even doing that because the buggers were so shy that they would just run inside. Now what's unusual about this is, I'm uh, sorry, sapiens don't come out till it's about 22 degrees. And yet, here they are, totally going to town, or at least starting to, when it's only 16. I'll come back and film this later probably and you'll see heaps more when it warms up. But it begs the question how for six months I couldn't get them to feed and then suddenly they're out. Well as I said this is preferred learning behavior in animals and you see this a lot on farms where animals are used to feeding or are used to certain areas being safe and other areas not. And you can have it with chooks and cows where they're used to one area being safe and you could put the most delicious food down somewhere else and some crappy old hay or rubbish at their normal feeding station. And guess what? The animals will go to the safe place. And this all started from another mate who had sapiens and he was telling me quite clearly that his sapiens don't feed at the entrance but he has a feeding station about eight meters away and they fly to that and what it is is again it's a it's feeling safe and what i've worked out is is that the bees in his case would not feed at the entrance because they know of a safe feeding station eight meters away and so they'll run off to that in my hive they've never been used to being fed and so wouldn't take it no matter how close i put it at the entrance it wouldn't take much now that you look at it whoops i'll get rid of that now that you look at it you will see that there's heaps of pollen. They'll go through a pot of hot pollen a day easily. All that pollen will disappear by this afternoon. In fact, by lunchtime, all that will go. The bees just don't mind this at all. So, it's called preferred learning behavior. And what's happened is this hive has learned. Now, it's not just one hive that's learnt this, by the way. <laughs> Let's have a look here. You will see on this hive, I've put a heap of pollen as well, a bit more honey and sticky. But they're doing the same thing as well. I don't know if you can see that clear enough. It's tucked in the corner. This hive has also learnt the same trick. And so now, they're quite happy. They actually think this is safe as churches and so safe in fact that I can get close up and watch them feeding. I'll come back when it warms up and you'll see even better how safe they think that is now. So don't give up on feeding your bees or changing bees. They do learn things. And to show you just how they've learned to accept this as safe. I could never do this with the sapiens at the entrance one time. Just filming them. So close.
just happily munching away. Incredible. That's learnt behaviour. Don't have to believe me. Check that out. That's a bit more shadowy. There's bloody heaps of them. Temperatures only 18 degrees. It's still not their normal temperature. Learnt behaviour. Persevere. In feeding bees, you'll get results.